Mexico. Oh. Advantage on the cards with the other two being ruled. Has an outright draw on 112 to 114. Castillo will be the first man up in the ring, it appears. And he's got a pretty good entourage as the Mariachi is singing in the background. So Castillo, the first man in the ring, as he's up and ready to fight in this fight tonight. And again, this is the current reigning. WBO Intercontinental Champion. He won that in a nine-round knockout over James Creighton in September of last year. He's made one title events against Jorge Ramirez. He knocked him out in four rounds, representing the country of Mexico from uh, Chihuahua, Old Mexico. Castillo, 26 years of age, 5'6", weighted 130, 129 for Lorsi, 24-0-1 with 16 by knockout. I tell you what, on paper, this WBO Junior Lightweight fight, and then based on a draw the last time, could be one of the better world title fights that you'll be in spirit in the year 1997, if the last fight is any indication of how well this fight can come about. Julian Lorsi, as the crowd now being pumped up, will be coming through the smoke and the lights of the LeBron Dome here in Villanueva. It always becomes a very difficult situation when a fighter fights in the home country. The man that he's fighting, certainly with a fight of this magnitude, not to try to play through all this hype. The weigh-ins become a spectacular event here. Not only here in France, but also all around the country of Europe. They not only have them uh, in a, most of the time, a tavern-type atmosphere, the crowd is invited to come. That's exactly what they've had here in France, is the Kerry brothers know how to put on a little stick and a little scope is, and here comes Larson. Twenty-five years old, five-six, thirty-six wins, twenty-six knockouts. you start talking to people around France, of course with the spelling of the name L-O-R-C-Y, Lorsay would probably be the more correct to the French, but they said, hey, his name is Lorsay, so be it. So, with the pre-fight preliminaries nearing an end, the two fighters are up. They'll be getting their robes off. The final introductions will be made. And we're set for 12 rounds of boxing here tonight in France. Looking back at the fight card of these two fighters, I made mention that Lorsi with 26 knockouts, 19 of which have come inside of three rounds, so this man can't put you away early. 16 knockouts on the career for Castillo. Seven of his have come inside the three rounds, so you would have to say that Lorsi might be the man of a little bit more dangerous attitude towards coming into the fight, trying to get it over in a hurry. Two fighters will officially get their introductions. Lorsi is the current reigning European junior lightweight champion, while this man, Castillo, is the WBO intercontinental champion. When he got one in September of 1966. He's had three fights in the United States, has Lorsi. Didn't work long there, only six rounds. Tommy Barnes went down in New Jersey in 95 in the first round. Mark Smith in the uh, in New, in Nevada went down in three on a knockout. Then in March of 1996, Lorsi's only other appearance, a two-round knockout over Mo Hernandez. It's only six rounds of action he's fought in the United States. Otherwise, most of it's been right here in France. Well, again, the referee for tonight's bout will be Roberto Ramirez out of Puerto Rico. Castillo getting his last words of advice coming from his corner. Ramirez giving the final instructions to the fighters here. And you can see Castillo very clearly not wanting to look up into Larcy's eyes to get any kind of a benefit there. Larcy looking for a stare back, but they're not going to get it. They slap gloves, and Castillo never looked at him. 
So again, both fighters, we've alluded to the fact, are rather quick starters. Castillo is not your typical Mexican boy. He can punch from the outside. Lots of crowd. You can hear him pumped up. And round one is just about here. Championship is underway just south of Paris on the Cedric Kushner Sports Network. Castillo, the South Pole. With the black with a gold trim. Excuse me, the blue with a gold trim. The blue and the red belonging to Larcy. Larcy again trying to close the distance after the South Pole. Fires a couple of shots. Be interesting to see also Larcy. He fought, of course, this same left hander. In one of his last three fights, actually, Lorsi has had two fights since the fight in March with Castillo, just trying to stay sharp. Castillo has not fought since. Castillo now. Uh, Wondering about a potential headbutt. Ramirez will take a good close look, and he is cut. So a headbutt, and the judge or the referee is bringing the doctor up, so there's been a headbutt. lorsi has been looked at as well. But no cut resulting in him. No, there is a cut. It's in the hairline. So both fighters have been cut. And it clearly was one ahead, but. So what a strange turn of events. This has been a headbutt in the first round. Larcy, you see, cut in the hairline. And we'll see where the cut is on Castillo. It is, I believe, on one of the eyebrows. So a headbutt in the first round changes the strategy neither one of the cuts are in a overly dangerous position certainly that of Lorsi up in the hairline other than the blood down in his eyes but it was a headbutt in the first round acknowledged by the referee finally after called on by Castillo and he is pawing at that left eye it is on the left eyebrow you can see the blood streaming down the face of both fighters now no change the strategy of both fighters saying wait a minute i don't know if we can go 12 with what's happening now and castillo slips a good left hand in Rossi trying to rub it inside castillo closing behind that good right jab of his Marcy trying to counter punch off the line just a smear of blood on the left side from the eye. You can see how quick he kicks in with the punches. Larcy covering up, trying to counter punch off of the charging Castillo. Castillo punching from the outside. Good shot on the head that time of Larcy. Most of those punches being caught in the gloves. Peekaboo style of Larcy. Straight up the middle left hand that time by Castillo. Just looked inside. That one caught on the gloves. Larcy carefully trying to keep his left foot outside the right foot of Castillo, the southpaw, which takes a little bit of the angle away from that left uh, hook of his. He has to come a little further to throw it, which allows you to maybe throw one back underneath it or over the top. Larcy slipping in with the right hand on Castillo. Both fighters cut on a headbutt here in round one. Neither one of them in the situation where it could possibly end this fight. At least it appears not now. But the eye cut of Castillo could be a problem before it's all over. Castillo winging from the outside to end round one. corner to see if they're working on that cut. You can see they have a very little address that it appears to have probably stopped up in the hairline. A little blood under the nose, I believe, is from the forehead, and now you see it working a little on that cut. No problems to build up on the hairline. Boom! Boom! Let's take a look at some of the action. Okay. We'll see if we can catch where that headbutt occurred. It had already occurred, and that was a good left hand. Yeah. Okay. And right there was the headbutt. He came before the last exchange. Let's see if we can look at it again. Boom, right there. Good camera work to catch that headbutt, and you can see, not initiated by either fighter, inadvertent. But it does affect the fight before it's all over. We hit for round 
two. Second round of a scheduled 12 round world title fight, the WBO Junior Lightweight title. Up for grabs, it's a vacant title. Castillo on the left, Lorsi of France on the right, Castillo out of Old Mexico. A headbutt that brought on a cut on the forehead of Lorsi and on the eye of Castillo. I would say that Castillo's corner has to be a little bit more concerned than that of Lorsi. With the location of the cut left eye of Castillo, it's on the eyebrow and not on the eyelid, fortunately. Lorsi being very careful, fighting very defensively through the first drive, two rounds. Castillo struck the punch inside. Lorsi answered with a right hand of his own. Both fighters, after getting that preliminary first round, that again had a brief stoppage, which gave him a little rest inside the round, but really didn't need it at this juncture of the fight. Now being instructed by their corner. In Lorsi's corner, his corner working to try to get kind of a quick shot from the left, take an angle, take a quick shot from the right. Still throwing in combinations, but doing it off the move, not standing in front of Castillo. Castillo's corner was mostly concerned with a cut in between rounds. Lorsi landing the combination. Every punch, if it lands or not, will be applauded by their French fans. Larcy lunging with the left hand, missing with the left, missing with the right as he held off on it. Castillo, you can see how tightly he keeps that duke up now right around the eyes where he's got problems with it. A minute to go, round two, telephone by Castillo. Larcy shaking for a moment back on the rope, just trying to gain his Surely working himself underneath. Prodding, trying to get himself inside. Castillo trying to punch him off. Lorsi throwing combinations. Not big ones. Castillo off balance, pulling at the line. It still has blood streaming on his cheek. Closing seconds of the second round, the French crowd is up on their feet. it appears now that we get a good close look at it still however a dangerous spot for a cut the doctors are there as well while the cut is being worked on feverishly here trying to close it you can see it's not on the outside but on the inside right above the bridge of the nose it's one of those that can easily spread down the bridge of the nose and certainly on into the eyelid. As let's take a look at some of that fighting by Lorsi. He got Castillo off and oh, a big right hand by Lorsi on that replay. Watch it again. Boom, right on the nose. And that one hurt. Third round of the world title fight. This crowd is just settling down for another three minutes of action. They liked what they saw in that second round as a Frenchman. Lorsi in the blue and the red. Actually in a little trouble from Castillo came stinging back, including a huge right hand near the end of the round. And Fever's work in the corner and Castillo's eye again above the left eye. And now elbow being worn by Ramirez after throwing a punch. That was a point he got taken away in the last fight. He had two deducted when they fought to the draw in March. Again the cut on the forehead of Rorsi and that on the eye brought on by a headbutt back in round one. Castillo closes. Lars is doing a wonderful job of staying home. By that I mean that Castillo's coming wide. Lars is just staying, catching him on the arms, and then firing shots up the middle. 
Castillo holding that right hand high, trying to load up for the left hand. Larcy spinning away from any punches before Castillo could throw any. Castillo throwing some good punches to the body. Larcy stepping away, still peekabooing behind those two gloves. One thing Larcy has done from fight number one to fight number two, and that is to really learn how to fight a left-hander better. He's now circling to his right. He's been circling left most of the night to get outside of that right foot of Castillo. See how he stepped on the outside of the foot and then charged for his own shot? When he steps to the outside of his right foot, it means that Castillo though, has to throw a punch across his body, which leaves himself wide open. And Larsi makes him pay right there. Now, if he lets him come right up the middle, as Castillo did there, he's an he's a easy bait to hit, is Larsi. But if he steps to the outside and makes Castillo throw a long to left hand, he can score as he did there again. See him coming back? He circles outside that right foot. Castillo is a very busy fighter. He's not your traditional Mexican brother who really can do it. Larsi pop shot in that right hand. But Castillo can box. But when he gets inside, he can run with his way. Larsi top Larsi. Castillo backs up to the ropes. Tries to fight up as Larsi gets another combination. Castillo has to fight to the cascade of crap. And the noise coming at him with a Frenchman paying dividends in the third. Larsi clearly in control, now Castillo tries to steal it back. Larsi is very poised in this fight, very poised. Now he is won again by the headbutt, possibility. At the end of the round. Oh, good one. Pas le fou, tu vas gagner ce combat. Tu es en train de le ruiner Alors Jim, il va perdre la bonne, là 25-year-old youngster. A very creative amateur career. Il ne peut plus te rien faire. Tu l'as diminué en trois rounds. Winning the junior lightweight champion as an amateur. Fighting international fights all around the world. And now steps in the ring. 25 years old. And has a 36-0-1 record already. I may mention that he had two fights since the last fight he had with Castillo. Castillo has not fought since this For a gentleman, Bobo. Let's take a look at the closing. Larcy again. Castillo, you see, for the first time back. Castillo. It was a cuffing right hand, but it backed him up to the ropes. And set up another combination by Larcy as they get ready to head for the fourth. Welcome back to the La Grande Dome. Villabon sur Yvette in France, just south of Paris, and it's World Championship time. The WBL Junior Lightweight Championship. Castillo on the left. Larcy on the right. Larcy again with a solid third round has taken a brief lead on our card. I say brief because that was the way it ebbed and throwed the last time in a 12-round draw between the two last March. Both fighters bloodied with a headbutt in the first round. Castillo's in a more dangerous position over the left eye. Larcy in the hairline, also over the left eye, but not of any consequence other than blood dripping down in his eye. And for the most part, it's been well contained. Good job by Castillo's corner to do the same on his cut. Larcy did a good job in the last round, staying poised, staying control, and then charging Castillo. Castillo would land some punches as he does there again. Larcy was able to come back as he gets that long right hand in again. It is probably being more applauded by the crowd than it needs to be, but at least he's scoring with it. Punches thrown again from the outside by Castillo. This is what I was talking about. He's not your traditional brawling Mexican fighter. Most of the time they go in a little bit more behind their, behind their punches. Kind of crouched in behind it. Look how he tries to lead with that long lead right hand. Then comes in behind it with the left hand. A little bit more of a boxer brawler puncher here for Castillo. Castillo, the reigning WBO international champion. September of 96, knocking out James Creighton in the ninth round to win that title. He's made one defense since with a fourth round knockout. 
over Jorge Castillo, another couple of good left hands in. Digs a right to the body. One was a little low, and he's worn by the referee Ramirez. Under a minute to go in round four. Lancy, that little slipping right hand just kind of sneaks it in on the charging Castillo. Castillo starting to paw at that eye again as the blood starts to trickle down. The right hand of Lancy being well placed on that eye. The majority of this fourth round again. Larcy is scoring well off the counter. Castillo's probably scored more with his punches and may have won the round on some of the cards, but it's again with the counter punching of Larcy and the reaction of the crowd, probably another very close round on the scorecard of the judges as they rumble near the end of round four. You can see the blood of that left eye of Castillo. They try to get that stopped as the instruction coming from his left. And the cut being worked on his, actually on his left, the instruction coming from his right. And there's more concern about the cut and maybe there should be than what's going on in the ring. Castillo has actually fought the fight he wanted to fight. With the exception of those little big right hands. I say little big right hands. They're little punches and the fact they're not set up by anything. They're just one quick right hand. Castillo's been able to score with the left hand, but again the right hand is been glancing off his noggin all night long. And particularly over that They're off their stools to start round five of a scheduled 12 round world title fight. Castillo back where he left off. Throwing the right hand, throwing the left hand. Larcy throwing the combination. Castillo trying to shake it off and continues to charge. First time they fought back in March, Larcy went down twice in the first round. Stunned the French crowd in Paris. Tonight he has not been down, even though a headbutt brought a cut to both the fighters in round one. Larcy is fighting a much smarter fight here in the second rematch. Uh, in the rematch board, second fight between the two. And now Castillo asking Ramirez, the referee, to watch for another potential headbutt. And sometimes this can be a dangerous situation. All of a sudden Castillo... Yes, he is getting headbutted, but for that matter, so is Larcy. He starts trying to think about refereeing rather than fighting. Larcy again has been out of control and doing what he needs to do as he throws the combination off the counter and is forcing Castillo to throw wildly. Now Larcy throws one wild himself. They're in the halfway point of round number five. Crowd has certainly got their money's worth early. Castillo stuns him briefly. His corner encouraging him to come after him. Good left hand in the body by Castillo. Castillo backing Larcy around the ring now. Castillo just ducks away from the right hand. Now Larcy becomes an evasive target. Castillo Lungeon got caught with the left hand on his way in. Castillo now warned to keep his punches up. Lands a good combination on Larcy backing away. Castillo has fought all of his fights, with the exception of seven, in California and in Nevada, the United States. Those other sevens fought in his home country of Mexico, but he's moved and trained for the most part up around the Los Angeles area, he's being from Chihuahua. That blood continues to stream down the left side of his face. I'm a little surprised that the referee has not taken a little closer look at that cut and maybe even advised the doctor to be in that corner. He was there early in his mind. Now Castillo is in just inviting Ramirez to referee the fight. Sure, he caught a low blow, but now he's asking the referee to try to call everything there is. 
rather than trying to fight through it and accepting the integrity of the referee to pick that up. But again, back to my point on the cut. The doctor got into the corner of Ramirez early. We've not seen him in the last couple of rounds. Speaking of cuts, Lorsi. So in this fifth round, a little cut on the left eye now. Uh, Lorsi has appeared. These two guys are going to be cut and slashed before this fight is all over. So the hairline cut has been taken care of, and now a slight cut on the left eye. Again, it is under the eye, on the cheek. You can see by the swab coming off, it's not bleeding that much right now. Left hand came right up the middle. Got the right right the you can see the cut the right. the So Rossi was shaking a little bit. I gave the round to Castillo as we head for round number six. Arnolfo Castillo on the right. The southpaw fighting Julian Lorsi of France. Castillo from Mexico. One of these fighters is hoping to walk away with a WBO junior lightweight title belt tonight. They were both so disappointed they didn't go one way or the other the last time. Probably Lorsi more so than Castillo. And the fact that spurred on by his French and led on by winning a majority of the last few rounds and two points being taken away from Castillo. It came up a draw. And tonight, this one is still another close fight and could go that way again. But still a problem for Castillo. You see Lorsi now starting not so much to counterpunch, but wanting to try to start the offense early. Wants to get off first, take it away from Castillo. You see Lorsi starting to start. Combination. Castillo gets away from the last left hand. Circles the hole as Larcy goes back to work and gets caught by the left hand. Castillo punching hard. Larcy comes out punching with a combination. Most of the punches of Castillo in that corner. Caught in the gloves. He also has trouble getting the body shot in. Protected by the elbows, and that time Larcy was able to step all the way. He gets a right hand in. And the crowd is back in the fight again here in your Paris. Castillo punching his way in, Lorsi punching him back. Castillo went out shaking his right hand as if he might have hurt it. And Lorsi comes in on top of it. Well, watch that right hand of Castillo. He was shaking on that last exchange as if it might have got a stinger in it. And we'll see if they look at it in between the rounds. A minute to go in round six, set for 12. Left hand by Castillo. Again, appears to be throwing the right hand okay. If he starts to get a little left hand happy, we'll notice something wrong with that right hand. Dug it pretty good to the body that time. Under 45 seconds to go in the round. Good job by Lorsi that time to duck out of the corner. He does want to get in that kind of game tonight. Castillo would love to get in. Seconds to go in the round. Lorsi becoming an elusive target now. Castillo trying to catch up. And the usual displeasure sign in Europe is the whistle rather than the boo. Yes. Well, in that first fight, ended in a draw back in March on this year for the vacant title. This one is very much heading that way unofficially at our vantage point. It is right now a draw. It is even to this point. The cut on the forehead and now the one under the eye, really not being basically looked at. Now they daub some blood off, get some coagulant on top of it, but of no concern in that corner. Let's take a look at the exchange here. And again, Lorsi getting the right hand in. Castillo getting himself out of balance. 
and leaving himself open. Pretty good little straight left hand that time by Lorsi as well. Castillo is fighting a little sheepishly there. Good look at the crowd here, and they are, for the most part, enjoying themselves immensely. At the Le Grand Dome here in Villemont, Sir Yvette. Just south of France, momentary break to get some of the paraphernalia out of the corner of Castillo on your right. And we're underway in round seven. Sam Smith, along with the Cedric Kushner boxing crew with you. As we've got another world title fight beaming your way for the WBO Junior Lightweight Championship. Larcy back in the sixth round was the aggressor. He was able to get off first. Castillo took it away from him about three quarters of the way through the ground. And then Larcy regained it near the end of the round to get the points on the scorecard. You can see the eye right now of Castillo as he looks right into your viewing area. Has been pretty well taken care of. Just inside the high ground near the bridge of the nose. Larcy raining combinations. Larcy from the outside. Castillo still trying to lead with the right, come back with the left hand. Larcy, straight right hand, backs up Castillo. Right hand that time, getting a little low. Castillo again, trying to encourage the referee to call that. Ramirez just shakes it off. Larcy tracking. Left hand off Castillo. Larcy had to back up after he had an advantage. Castillo caught him. And Castillo trying to clown it up on his way in again. Castillo with a straight left hand. Castillo with a looping left hand. Larcy's got a pretty good straight left hand to use this as a jab, but he will actually lead with a right hand and come back with that straight left hand as one of his primary weapons. A minute 18 left to go in round seven. Larcy again, that one glancing off the chest of Castillo. to be a little cut on the outside of the right eye. Larcy, unless that was some blood coming from the left eye. Of Castillo. And it very well could be as they had eye to cheek there just a moment ago and it could have worked out. But there is definitely some blood on the right side of the face now of Larcy. Castillo still trying to cut the distance off. Larcy has a man to back him up. He does for the first time. Near the end of the round. Castillo trying to fight back. Larcy punching off for the break. And now they tie up again. These junior lightweights are showing a little fatigue here in the seventh round. Wild left hand by Castillo. Answered by a little short right hand that time by Larcy. Larcy backing into the corner. Castillo chasing him down. And near the end of round number seven. Set for 12. I would agree with the assessment of Castillo as he went to his corner raising his arms. Indicating that he won the round. Look how nicely they've done on that cut. It's no longer the focal point. Now it becomes the strategy of the fight. It also adds a great deal of confidence to Castillo, and he may need it because the Frenchman is starting to come at him, but Castillo with a big left hand. Marcy able to hand a soft left hand. That's where Castillo got that short left hook in. Castillo goes up, straight left hand. And Castillo caught some big punches in the round. Seven. Both fighters answering the bell on their stool as they take a little extra time to get out. Kind of backing up my comment from the seventh round that both are starting to show a little extra fatigue. And why not? It's been a non-stop fight in this world title match. Castillo tracking it on top of Larcy. Larcy with his back to you from France. Castillo out of Chihuahua, Old Mexico. Training for the most part in California where he fights most of his fights. Seven of his 25 have been fought in his native Mexico. The other in California are Nevada. 
Castillo. This is what he's been doing all night long. Charging from the outside. Right hand thrown by Lorsi. Backing Castillo up. Castillo now coming back ahead of him. See Castillo continues to kind of shake out that right hand. It may be, of course, it could be either in the full arm or certainly in the bicep tightening up, but he has been uh, kind of continuously shaking that right hand out the last couple of rounds. It's definitely a weapon. We got to see mostly in the corner of Castillo. They were working on the abrasion and a slight cut under the right eye of Lorsi. So he's cut under both eyes and in the forehead. But again, they are just cuts that will draw your attention because of the blood and not that of a stopping of the fight type category. Halfway through the eighth round. Castillo battling it on Lorsi. Lorsi again waiting to count on dance. Castillo, good shot combination up the middle. Lorsi back for a counter. Castillo swinging off the ropes. Lorsi backing back into the center line. And Castillo comes right back at him. Under a minute to go in the eighth. By the way, Castillo, with those 16 knockouts, had five in a row, going to the draw that he had with Larcy on March 1st. That broke the string. See him shaking that right hand out again. Right now, he's thrown some pretty good punches that probably could have put not only Larcy down, but out. But the Frenchman is held in there. And now the blood, you can see, just streaming down that right cheek. The left hand of Castillo continuing to find a home. Castillo warned for low blows, or excuse me, Lorsi warned for low blows, or at least Castillo wanted to. He sent a couple low there heading for the corner that were not acknowledged. Lorsi's not trying to referee, he's just trying to fight. All of the cuts and abrasions. You can see that one's a pretty good cut on the eye. Mostly coming from a little swelling and then opened up. So under the right and the left eyes, Lorsi has cuts. The forehead cut, no longer a problem. There is a, a slight abrasion above the right eye as well. Yes, now they're going to work on it. Tom Lundy, our producer, picking up on that as he took a good close look at it. But they're working on both of those. Wow. There's the right hand of Castillo. Trying to continue to pound away on that right hand. A good right hand by Castillo. Most of the punches of Larcy, particularly the last two exchanges that you saw, were missing their mark. The seconds are out. The fighters are on the center of the ring, and this is round nine. Well, they went 12 rounds the last time they fought. They may be heading for 12 again. Larcy continuing to draw cut after cut. One under the left eye, one under the right eye, one above the right eye, and a cut on the forehead. A cut over the left eye near the bridge of the nose by Castillo back in the first round off a headbutt. The only mark he has outside of some puffiness around both eyes. We're in round number nine. And again, we continue to march relentlessly towards a very close scorecard. We will do our very best to, at our vantage point to try to see if we can get those cards when they do make the announcement because they were very important numbers the last time. As one, the judge scored it. A big, big uh, a victory for the Frenchman by four points. 117-113. The American and the Mexican proved it even at 112-114, respectively. 112-112, 114-114, and that's the draw. So the numbers will become very, very important unless, of course, it ends in a stoppage of the fight. And either fighter could do that between now and there, but they will pound each other the rest of the fight. Castillo still swinging punches from the outside. 
Larchie has continued to back up, continues to throw up the line. Throws a couple of punches to at least get the French crowd back into it a bit. But Castro Cleary taking control of the round. Larchie trying to steal it back midway through. The scoring of the judges becomes very important on what style fight they like. And they like the aggressor, they're rooting for Castillo. And they like a defensive counterpuncher, they got to be leaning for Larcy. It's that kind of fight that will be determined by the judges at ringside. And we're away from that now, just closing in on the little under one minute to go in the ninth round. Referee Ramirez has had very little to do, fortunately, in the last few rounds. As they have not clinched and held up as they did. Particularly on the fifth, sixth, or seventh round, the both fighters are showing a little fatigue, but well, they're leaning on a different tank now. They may have switched to the auxiliary uh, tank as they pumped up. Marcy again getting some punches in, but Castillo clearly in control of the round. Castillo, good, quick, aggressive step. They mentioned shaking that right hand around again. They mentioned at the top of the show that this would not be your traditional Mexican brawler. And he has him in tonight. Well, boxers of all weights, classes, and levels, along with the stars and the personalities here in France. Watching on as one of their Frenchmen, Julian Lorsi gets his conversation in the corner. There you see the doctor leaning in on that eye of Castillo. That was a quick look because he's very well satisfied. There's no more problems with that cut after a great job in the corner. Really encouraging Lorsi to take some good deep breaths. Castillo, boom, got the right hand by Lorsi. Almost turned the lights out on the cameras as well. Castillo trying to hook the right hand and got caught with a right hand of his own and then his left hand fell off the shoulder of Lorsi. Seconds out. Tenth round is just a moment away. He hails from Maison, France. Fighting under the tutorship of the Carey brothers here. Who control the boxing around the French area as far as outstanding promotion. Canal Plus, the official television of France, bringing us around their country. And delighted to be aboard with you here on the Seven Christian Sports Network. On World Championship Boxing for the WBO Junior Lightweight title, Sam Smith. With a commentary tonight. Larcy back it up, Castillo, just as he did in the night. By the way, I gave that last round to Castillo for a slight lead on the cards. A dangerous assumption on my part in the fact they're fighting here in France. But Larcy thought he had it the last time he fought on home turf, but didn't on a draw. Judges, I'm sure, have been informed by the WBO that will probably not happen again unless it is absolutely too close to call. Make a decision. It certainly set up a great rematch, though. Castillo doing what he's done almost the entire fight. Narcy, who did a good job of countering off of it, trying to come back with a shot, but missed on both of them. Nearing the halfway point of round 10. Larcy has been very patient in this fight. He has been, for the most part, under control. Not that Castillo has been out of control. That's his style. But Larcy could have panicked a couple of times along the way with his charging style. But to his credit, and of course the experience he got from the first fight, has done well tonight. The only round that it appeared that both fighters were coasting of any measure of amount had to be back in the seventh round. That has since gone. Both of absolutely on full speed ahead. Another slight clash of heads that time. 
Referee Ramirez warning both. Castillo missing badly. Now he comes back with a combination. Julia Lossi. And by the way, is Michelle Carey in the background, a man standing in the gray suit, encouraging the fighter that he manages here in France to try to get it going with the bell signs. Still just trying to get their fighter to relax in that corner. Trying to get some more oxygen. Seems to be the major concern there is where their fighter is as far as his stamina is concerned. They certainly had a question of it after the seventh round, maybe in both corners. Last few rounds have not shown any ill effects of any kind of fatigue from either side, though. They have both answered the bell and answered it well. Last round, an unofficial card went back to Lucy. As they sweat it out near Paris. Round 11, as the stools are dropped from the ring, and now it becomes mono on mono again. WBO Junior Lightweight World Championship. Julian Larcy on the left from France. Ardolfo and Castillo out of Mexico. Ardolfo coming in at 26 years of age, 25 by Larcy. Both these guys are the very peak of their young careers. 26 professional fights down by Castillo. 37 by Larcy at only 25. They both have been around the block. Both had a chance for a world title. Didn't get it the last time with a draw. One wants to earn it, and both have fought well enough to do so tonight. Again, it'll be interesting because I still have Castillo up by a point on the card. Two minutes now left to go in the 11th round. Both fighters obviously went the full 12 rounds the last time. Combination thrown and landed by Losey. Castillo outside of the 12 rounds has been 10 only twice. Losey went the 12, he's been 10 rounds three times other than that. So they both have been into this no man's land before as they fight in the 11th. Larcy again starting to cap it, forcing Castillo to be a little bit more cautious with it. Interesting move there by Castillo. They're cheering for Larcy, almost encouraging to cheer louder. Maybe it pumps him up as well. Larcy diving for a counter shot. Coming back, standing where he needed to do. Through the combination on the diving Castillo. And now Lance has been able to step away from a lot of the punches by Castillo. Missing a wild left hand is the Mexican. Lance straight right hand. Less than 45 seconds now as we count it down and the left. The titles held by both pale in comparison to what they are fighting for right now. WBO International Champion, Castillo, the European Junior Lightweight Champion, and Larcy. But now it could be a world championship in their grasp. Larcy appears to be coming back strong in the ninth round, and it could go to a flat footed tie in the 12th and final round. Unless, of course, we get those strange scorecards with the four point difference as we had in the first fight. I just feel it's got to be close again. And they will definitely go to the 12th and 5th.